you're stuck, stuck in the luck tracking bass. <laughs> That's it. We're moving to Cornwall. I'll teach surfing. <laughs> you could open a tin mine. <laughs> Hello. Hi, oh, sweetie. Oh. Hello, Monty. Hello. Monty's feeling a bit low. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that never work. Just kick him out. He's your friend. I've seen the sitcom. Friends are attractive and entertaining. He's your best man. Well, I'm not going to pick him next time I get married. <laughs> Which is a silly and unhelpful thing to say. Uh, well, I think you might be clinically depressed. Monty is clinically self-absorbed. <laughs> He's got an I love me tattoo. Well, yeah, very small. There you go. He's mean and vain. <laughs> All right. I'll compromise. He can stay for another hour, but I get to hit him with the hat stand. <laughs> Look, I know, I know he's needy and a bit cranky, but frankly, so are you these days. Well, partly, because every time I come home, the house is full of the walking wounded or a troop of lion dancers or the action on knits committee. Any uh, chance of a beer? So who can I expect tomorrow? The entire population of South Mims? I'm out tomorrow. I'm at my dad's. Oh, well done. For a moment there, it looked like you'd actually have to spend some time with me. Well, I like people. I'm sorry if you don't. Well, if you like people so much, why don't you just take Monty down to the pub? I'm sure you'll find plenty of people there. <laughs> On time. The world's gone mad. late. Doors stuck for 27 minutes at Waterloo due to software implosion. <laughs> Chris wants a meeting. Chris? Shy, cold play frontman Chris Martin? Or Chris Ebbett, the last tennis player to wear frilly knickers professionally? Chris. Chris Fennymore, the only boy at my school with webbed hands. No, Chris Jackson, the managing director. Uh, yes, I believe I can squeeze him in between my Lady Blade meeting at 2.30 and my goatee think tank catch-up at 4. The meeting's in two minutes. Right. <laughs> oh, there was something else, um, something important. <sighs> no, I forgot. Oh, wait, wait, um... I've remembered. <laughs> Actually, it's not that important. Just tell me. He said to let you know that he's very excited. I love the way Chris just keeps us waiting. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Yeah? yeah? Fancy getting in the mood with some low-level motivational chanting? <laughs> Reggie. Chris. Anthony. Chris. Trevor. Chris. <clears throat> Sorry, it, it's Steve, actually. Steve. Chris. <clears throat> Still doing without your desk, Chris? Yes, a desk is a barrier. Uh-huh. Um. <clears throat> Globalisation. Brilliant. <laughs> that is so clever. Reggie. Chris. Globalisation. Uh, what do you mean by that? 
Good point. <laughs> the UK is a titchy island. The world is super big. <laughs> How am I doing? What, what do you mean by that? Shut up! Thank you. What does Groom Tech mean in Hamburg, say, to Klaus, or in Sao Paulo, to Pablo, or in Istanbul, to whoever? Mehmet. What? <laughs> the most popular male name in Turkey is Mehmet. I've waited 23 years to use that piece of information. <laughs> the answer is... Followed by Yusuf. <laughs> <laughs> Groom Tech means nothing, because we're a corner shop in a Walmart world. These are our world sales figures, and they are crap. It's time to go global. Gentlemen. Ideas. <laughs> Reggie? Uh, Finland. Finland? Finland is historically a microcosm of global market forces. If we crack Finland, we crack the world. I'm flying out to Helsinki tomorrow morning. Interesting. We're with you, Reggie. This is, I'm so up for this, it hurts. God, I'm almost physically excited. <laughs> Finland. Reindeers. Rally drivers. Depression. Alcoholism. See you at the airport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not coming. Great idea. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go. I need our head of bombs and lubricants. I'm not sending my disposable razors in there without decent lotion backup. I'm liking this new thrusting side to you, Reggie. Don't bullshit me, Chris. Don't overdo the thrusting, Reggie. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Get out! Dear head of trains, my train was, as usual, 27 minutes late this morning. I was planning a breakdown of complaints, but this would clearly be akin to pissing into a very strong breeze. <laughs> so, instead I'll tell you how much I dislike your service, in a range of international languages. I hate you, you bastards. <laughs> Italian. Oh, veo Dio. Bastardi. Welsh. Ruin kasaihi, or kothraliaid. Sounds horrible. Finnish. We aren't either. Apparata. Might come in handy. Turkish. Send in Nefret Ediorum. Pick. Thank you, Mehmet. Uh, sorry, I did knock. Kimi Kerida Kuso. Sorry, I was just playing back a, an, an email. Oh, they don't sound very happy with the shave they're getting. Uh, no, I was sending it. Oh. What aren't you happy with? Practically everything. Look, I'm not sure it's a good idea us going to Helsinki together tomorrow. Why on earth not? Because, in the short time I've worked here, I found you in my office using my hairbrush, you've shown me rather an embarrassing rash in front of your wife, and kissed me on the lips by the water cooler. Is that a problem? Yes, I think it might be. <laughs> well, um, it was a particularly odd week. I'm actually as normal as the next man. I'm considerably more normal than those two, look. <laughs> I've given this company ten years of my life. I'm not going to throw that away by acting unprofessionally. Stuff professionalism, show us your bangers. You all right? Yes. Oh, uh, OK. What meetings have you set up in Finland? Uh, uh, that, that, that was the next thing I was going to do. Well, I know a couple of big Finnish distributors we can meet. Great. Uh, thanks. <clears throat> Apart from that, I'm, I'm frighteningly well prepared. Finland's that long dangly one up by Russia, isn't it? <laughs> 